Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So you may be sitting there thinking, Ian, you're showing us a big cream colored rectangle. What the heck? Well, today we're actually gonna take a look at a doll that I have actually had for a very long time. Um, and I was like, you know what? I've never shown her on my channel. I've never actually truly displayed her either. Um, she's always just kind of been kept in the box. So stay tuned as we get this box open and you guys will see what she is. She's actually one of my favorite items that I own. Um, and I'm really excited to show her to you guys. Okay, so this is a huge box. This uh, doll is actually close to 17 inches tall um, and the box itself is even taller. Uh, so I had to lay it down. But as you can see here, it does say on the front box, Diana, Princess of Wales. This is one of the commemorative dolls that Franklin Mint did uh, back in the early 2000s to commemorate the life of Diana and uh, feature her in some of her more iconic outfits. So the person that I got this from did include a few mailings um, of the doll that you know, would have come from Franklin Mint, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, also, uh, the Certificate of Authenticity paperwork is in here. I'm trying to do this with one hand, so, um, but it is just a simple little, let me try and get it here. It's literally just a little a packet like this. So very, very nice. Um, it does say she was the people's princess and will forever rule in the kingdom of hearts, which I thought was kind of a nice touch there. You can see that. Uh, also, I was sent the, because uh, it had fallen off, but thankfully they did keep this little tag that would have been hanging off of Diana's hand. And it does come with some extra thread and beads. Um, of course, because this dress, just in case something happened, did need that. There's also a little packet here that has a white rose and her clutch. Um, I've never taken those out. <laughs> and there's also another little box here. There's Diana. Uh, another little box here that holds the infamous, everyone knows this one, because uh, Kate Middleton even wears it now. Uh, the infamous pearl, I think it's called the Lover's Knot tiara um, i'm actually gonna leave this out here because we're gonna put that on here in just a second diana like i said is roughly about 16 inches tall uh, she does have a stand here and it does support her per just perfectly nice big wide base um, she is made of porcelain i don't rem recall her original retail i know it was like i think roughly 100 or a little over 100 I was fortunate enough, I got her on eBay for like 30 bucks. Um, mine does have a few scratches. And like I said, you know, she's she wasn't tied in um, uh, to the box anymore, but the form in the box here, I'll show it to you real quick, did hold her in place very, very nicely. Um, so that was pretty nice. But now let's go ahead and take a look at her details. So she is, like I said, made of porcelain. And I think for being made of porcelain, they did do a pretty good job of capturing uh, Diana's likeness here. So she has her blue eyes hand painted. Of course, her nice open smile there, white teeth painted on, of course. She has a, a wig, of course, to, um, that's attached to her head because you can't root porcelain. <laughs> this is kind of like a little wig cap here. And uh, of course, Diana had short, short hair. Uh, so it's in that kind of iconic bob that she had during uh, the majority of her, of her life that was in the public eye, I guess I should say. Um, and it does hold the crown very, very well. I keep saying crown, tiara. I'll just slide it on there so you can see. The TR itself does have those little pearl drops on there as well as little Austrian crystals there at the top. Um, she has also the pearl drop earrings that I know Kate Middleton wears now. Um, and of course, I love this outfit. I keep saying, of course, I have no idea why. This is what I call the Elvis Presley outfit, just because it reminds me of that. I think that's also kind of what people do kind of tend to call this outfit, but a very beautiful little, almost a bolero style jacket, but it does come to her waist. Um, just completely, completely hand sewn with pearl beads. Love, love, love this outfit. It's like a polyester material and the hand beading goes all the way to the bottom. And then of course is lined there at the bottom along the cuff with beads as well. Um, the slit up the back here, even her legs are porcelain. Um, she does not have removable shoes. Those are actually just kind of part of the porcelain mold itself. 
but you can see here her hands are shaped to hold the rose in this hand and her clutch in this hand. I have, like I said, never taken those out of the packet, so um, I'm not going to. I just, I'm, for some reason, I'm kind of funny about that. I've never displayed her and I wish I had, but I just, I haven't. Um, but the back, you can see here, does have some little clasps. If you did want to remove the jacket, you certainly could. Here's one of the many reasons why I got such a good deal on her. She does have a little scratch on her elbow and on her other elbow as well. But nonetheless, a beautiful, beautiful doll commemorating um, Princess Diana of Wales, one of the most iconic people um, of the 20th century and just Oh, she's just stunning. I loved Diana, uh, everything that she did for the world, for people, um, just a just a, a rare individual. And I love to have, and I'm loving that I have a doll that kind of commemorates her. I really should display her. <laughs> All right, guys, like I said, I just wanted to show you one of the dolls I've had forever. And I guess I don't really, I mean, she is porcelain, so she would be considered, I guess, porcelain doll. I just never really thought to show her to you guys, but thought it'd be kind of fun to do so. So um, she is everywhere, secondhand. You can find her on eBay. You can find her on Amazon, even. You can find her anywhere. So if this is one you did not know they made and would like to get her, you certainly can. Um, she is very, very, very nice, and the details captured are amazing. Um, I think her average price is a little over $100 now, between $100 and $200. Uh, it just kind of depends on uh, quality, or not quality, uh, condition, I guess I should say, of the doll, whether or not she's mint, still tied in the box, or like mine came uh, out of the box, um, not tied in anymore. But just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful commemorative doll celebrating a beautiful person and her life. So anyhow, guys, if you enjoyed, make sure to hit a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't already, do consider subscribing as well as hitting that notification bell. That way you know when my videos do come out. I try to post as often as I can. It just kind of depends on what I have going on and what I have to show you. So yeah, come along for the ride if you'd like. All right. Well, again, hope everyone enjoyed. Hope everyone's having an extra magical day and we will see you real soon.